Um, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome to the Advanced Financial Acoustic Den, Warner Brothers recording artist, Atlas Genius. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> I don't know if that's a poor Australian accent or what accent it actually is. I thought that we were back in Australia for a moment. Let's, uh, let's jump into talking right like that. You haven't officially moved to America, right? You are Not still... officially, but we, we've spent uh, 10 months out of the last year here. So okay. I mean, we kind of, we're, we're kind of here. Okay, let's jump back to Australia. How easy it to go over to, like, say, to New Zealand? It's very easy, but I've never been to New Zealand. Never been? No. Okay. Do you guys cliff dive over there in Australia at all? Uh, they got some I, amazing regularly, cliffs. Regularly, yeah. yeah. Base jumping, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Like how, how high up are we talking? Uh, no, I've never done that. <laughs> that, is, that looks fantastic down there in that region of the world. Yeah, I mean, Australia is a great country. I mean, you've got a pretty good country here too, though. You do all right. You do all right. Yeah. yeah. What are we talking? 22 hour flight to get from where you're at to come all the way to uh, say I what? Mean, Los Angeles? From here, yeah. I mean, from Los Angeles, about 15 hours, but I mean, you know, you've got to fly f to Los Angeles from Is that here. where your crew is based in out of right now, LA? Um, we spent a fair bit of time there and, and also New York as well. Okay. Yeah. So both coasts? Bi coastal. <laughs> and now, what do you guys do in terms of living? Do you just kind of keep stuff in a rent month to month? Do you keep it all in storage? Or you just, hey, my bus is my is where I live. How do you, how um, do, you do that? You've got to continually cull the amount of stuff you have with you. Like you know, if you if you buy a new t shirt, then something else has to go. Um, and we have some stuff in a, in a lock up in in, uh, in Los Angeles. Do you call them lock ups? What do you call them? Storage. Yeah. Storage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we have we have one of those in in Los Angeles because uh, we have a bit too much gear. But um, yeah, I mean, we don't have a house anywhere in particular. Okay, now Keith, does Atlas Genius start with you? Uh, it finishes with me. Finishes with you. Yeah, it yeah. Never it never started with you. It wasn't like hey, no. I wanted to do this. We Someone actually we actually bought the band. It was at, on uh, Craigslist, um, <laughs> and we thought this this you know uh, fledgling band needs members. The fledgling band of brothers <laughs> needs members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it brotherly love out there on the road? Uh, ask Michael. Okay. Michael, is it? <laughs> but does it start with you and Michael, or did it start with you, or did it start with Michael? I mean, yeah, I mean, he's, he's younger, but um, but it did start with him. Uh, no, actually, it, I mean, it just started with us jamming in uh One of you started garage. to write the first song. Was like, I mean, uh, that was me, but... okay. I'm not taking all the blame. <laughs> and it was and it was actually the song that to this point has really broken out, which was Trojans. Right? Oh, I mean, you, like any songwriter, you, you write a bunch of stuff that never gets released that you, you work on it and you, and you kind of, yeah, that's okay, but we'll keep working on new stuff. I mean, but Trojans was the first song that we put out. And it kind of came together relatively quick. Um, yes and no. Um, I mean, the, thing, the way that that, happens, that song got put out, I mean, we finished it and that same day, we we were all in the studio, and, and that same day we we're like, yeah, maybe we should put this out. So, we put it up on on a few websites, and within a month, we had a bunch of labels, uh, and everyone uh, was emailing us within literally like four. How weeks. do you know where to put it out? What does that even mean? Uh, well, Michael, you chose. How did you choose the places to put it out? <laughs> <laughs> Things like SoundCloud, um, iTunes, that sort of thing. Yeah. Set up your own account. Yeah. I mean, it was do it yourself. I mean, that's the great thing about the era that we live in. I mean, you can do that for about 50 bucks. You can have your song on a few different websites and it's out there. The, the, the downside is that everyone has their music out there. So you're yeah. competing with a lot of bands. That's why we were really surprised that people even heard the song because there is just a sea of great music. Um, you're actually one of the first musicians I've heard talk about that. We think about how music started in the 40s and 50s. You mm -hmm. go from the 50s to the 60s to 70s yeah. and the different bands that have spanned the genres. Here we're sitting in 2013. There is more competition in the music business today than ever before. Yeah. And it's not just the delivery mechanism. It's just the sheer amount of product that's well, out Exactly. There. And, and it's so easy for people to record, which is great. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, now you've got kids with GarageBand, um, three seconds after buying their laptop, they're putting out, um, a song, you know, so there's a lot of there's a lot of music out there, um, for better or worse. I think, I, but the good thing is you don't have to rely on a record company discovering you before you can put music out because um, sometimes a lot of artists, and I think that we're probably one of those, is that it, it takes a lot of experimentation and a lot of um, 
it takes a while before you realise how you want your music to come out, and, and and how can you expect a record label or anyone else to to know how that's going to sound if you if you're still working it out yourself? So, um, it's it's a good time I think for bands. It is, but also at the same time, like somewhere in Dayton, Ohio, there's some uh, hipster nerd who just made something that four other people like, and people are already calling it brilliant. Yeah, you know, yeah, there is that. There's also that out there too. I got a chance to uh, hear you guys for the first time about a year or so ago. And it was with Trojans, but over the course of time, as you guys released the EP and then eventually got to your first debut, you wrote a track called Symptoms, which yes. came across on this uh, this first track. And yeah. uh, we asked you guys if you would be so uh, kind as to come down here and play for us today. And that's one of the tunes you're going to kick for us today. Absolutely. Kick that? Darren and I are going to play that for you.